Our other main story tonight, a convicted rapist who won the lottery has been urged to give all of his winnings to charity. Yarath Hall won £7 million after buying a ticket while on day release from prison in 2004. Today it's been reported that he has now been granted full access to his fortune. The case led to a change in the law after one of his victims, Shirley Woodman from Leeds, won a court battle for the right to claim compensation from him. David Rhodes has been to meet her daughter. Yorath Hoare was a convicted rapist long before he was a multi-millionaire. In 1988, he attempted to rape Shirley Woodman in Round Hay Park, Leeds, who would then spend more than two decades fighting for justice. I was absolutely frozen with fear. Hall has multiple convictions for rape and attempted rape. He was sentenced to 30 years in jail. In 2004, when he was on day release, he bought a lottery ticket in Middlesbrough and won over £7 million while still a prisoner. Somebody rang me up and said, the man who attacked you has just won the lottery, £7 million. I was absolutely horrified and it seemed so unjust Whilst behind bars, the Home Office restricted Hall's access to the money, but the Daily Mirror reported today Hall now has full possession of his winnings. It's just somebody who hurt my mum, but I have to put that aside. I'm not vengeful. Shirley Woodman died last year. For her daughter Shelley, the family have never fixated on Hall's money. Revenge is a dish best served cold, and, and this is very cold, isn't it, because... He's not allowed, really, to move on with his life. He's the one that is serving a life sentence because nobody will allow him to fade into the shadows. In 2008, Shirley went to the House of Lords, then the UK's highest court. She argued she should be able to sue Hall for damages. Shirley was awarded £50,000 in compensation, which she donated to charity. For her efforts, the late Queen bestowed her with an MBE. And today, her daughter says Hall should give some of his money to a good cause. He should give some of that away to charity. That's, that's the only thing he can do. It's not going to help any of his victims, but it may help future victims. The court case Shirley won where she was referred to as Mrs A, was seismic. It allowed victims of sex attacks the right to sue attackers beyond the period of six years from when the crime was committed. Without this legal landmark, victims of Jimmy Savile and child grooming in Rotherham would have had limited access to compensation. Literally tens of thousands of people have pursued cases since this case because of what Mrs A did. Wakefield lawyer Dave Greenwood was involved in the test case. Her chances of success at that time were slim. Uh, so for her and her legal team to push this as far as they did um, means that we owe, and thousands of people after her, owe her a massive debt of gratitude. When asked today, no government department would comment on Hall's access to his lottery winnings. For Shelley, though, her mother's legacy lives on. If your mum was here, what would she say? If he wants his millions, he can keep them. I don't need, I don't need his millions. She wouldn't be bothered. David Rhodes with that report.